Hi Virgos, thank you so much for joining me here today for your reading. This will be a general love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Crosswatchers. Hello, you're very welcome here. Thank you for all joining me here today and um, I hope you've been really well. Welcome to all the new subscribers, there's been loads. Thanks so much guys for clicking the subscribe button. Make sure you do if you haven't already. Okay, we have the Nine of Swords here. So you could be dealing with an air sign. Um, we also have the star card. So I feel like the DMs have been all up in their head about the situation um, between you know them and the DF and, and if they've got you know if a third party all up in their head with regrets, you know, this is kind of the insomnia cards, like sleepless nights, um, feeling just, just kind of agonising over their past actions and things like that, but they're healing out of it. Uh, you could also be dealing with an Aquarius. Uh, this is also, um, you know, it could be like a, an actual star type person, someone in, in the public eye, but... They're being healed from this kind of energy that they've been in, this regretful kind of all up in their head type energy. Um, ooh, more air energy here. Um, so this is my like spying card, the page of swords. So they've been keeping an eye on you kind of watching you from a distance, like someone's kind of watching this lady here, you know? Um, keeping an eye on your social media, you may have had kind of um, random, like, fake accounts kind of following you and things. Uh, just whatever social media they can keep an eye on, they have been watching you. Um, if you're living kind of at a close distance they could be like driving past your house or something like that trying to like bump into you places they know you go to maybe trying to even go to your work or something like that but they're wanting to come in with a little um truthful kind of truthful like message a little exchange um they're wanting to come in and say something uh, we also have the Two of Pentacles, which came out in the reverse too. So I feel like, again, they're, they're kind of being healed out of this juggling energy. So if they've put you in a third party situation, and that could be with a, another person or it could be, you know, just with their job or some, anything that's kind of block, been blocking you guys like progressing forward and, and communicating and things like that. They're they're healing that, so they're no longer kind of like juggling those things. Um, so actually, we do have quite a lot of pentacle energy here. So you could be dealing with an earth sign too, uh, or you yourself could be a, an earth sign. Um, four of pentacles, so they're really holding on tightly to the connection at the moment. I mean, look at that huge pentacle over his heart space, you know, it, it can also signify kind of greed. So we actually have the three of pentacles here as well. Um, so, I mean, they could really be, I've been picking this up for a long time anyway, but working on their craft, um, putting a lot of energy into their pentacles. Uh, this can also signify them wanting to actually work with you as well. So I don't know if you guys do a similar kind of work or just in some way wanting to work with you. But they're holding tightly onto the connection at the moment. Like it, it means everything to them. Um, yeah, could be definitely could be work or maybe you guys already work together with each other. I'm really picking that up quite strongly, actually. Um, holding tightly onto the connection, like I said. And again, we had this in the last reading, I think it was. I've been seeing this card loads, the Nine of Cups. So literally, this is what they desire with you. This is what they feel for you, like in their heart. They 
they want the nine of cups with you you know they 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 have so much love for you and a lot of them are not very good at expressing that i'm sure you guys know but you know rest assured this is how they feel about you and this is how they're currently you know in their heart space this is what they have for you right now um so yeah you could be a water sign yourself or dealing with a water sign but um yeah feeling hold, holding i'm just getting like yeah literally holding on to the connection like so tightly they don't want to let you go and i think the nine of swords is really they're thinking oh shit like i think i've kind of lost this person you know from their past actions and things um i think they're worried that they're losing you i really do and this is why they're so kind of anxious to come in with like some sort of communication to you just to like hold on like don't go anywhere um let's get some more cards the bottom of the deck energy here actually is the queen of wands and i'm sure we had this the last reading as well actually but i i just really feel like this is how they see you you know they see you as like a queen their star all up in your power just someone very confident stable sexy um knows what they're doing uh, what's the word i'm like um very self-assured they're just kind of in this page energy right now we'll see what else we get but they're not feeling kind of as strong as you i'm getting um yeah let's, let's see what other cards we get hmm how is how are the dms feeling for the dfs right now What's in their heart space? Okay, I'm gonna get another card here to clarify. Ooh, it's it's really weird, you know. It's like they don't want to talk, and then all at once <laughs> the cards spill out. And I'm actually gonna take them all. A lot of cards came out there. <laughs> uh, we'll go through them, but. This might be quite a long reading. Bottom of the deck energy is the uh, the Knight of Wands. So this is definitely action towards you. Someone really wanting to come in and, and rush in. They could have been, uh, well, because this is also like the fastest moving Knight in the deck as well. Mm, they could have been someone who was a little bit of a player in the past would kind of rush in and out, rush in, kind of say everything that you want to hear and then rush out again. But again, with the two of pentacles being in reverse, I just feel like they're, they're just kind of maturing. They're just changing that. Um, they're wanting to come into a more mature energy. Um, <clears throat> Because we had the death card here, which is Scorpio energy. Um, let me just see here. Oh, right, okay. So they're one in the death of the old kind of ways of communication and things you, you've had, like being a bit on and off. Um, oh, yeah, we actually had. So we've got the, the star card and temperance so two healing cards two two cards to do with healing and temperance is all about patience as well so i really feel like there's just something about timing here um they're really wanting to rush forward with the knight of wands energy 
Um, so they, they definitely are going to take action towards you, but I just feel like there's a little bit more of just to do with timing right now. Um, I've got the Justice card too here. So the, you know, it's like the Divine is coming in to really help with this connection to help heal, you know, the wounds that you both have and and to help move things uh, further on. Also, um, Justice, you know, the skills there and everything, um, this could be someone going through a divorce right now or, or some sort of legal issues. Some sort of legal issues. So, um, yeah. I feel like maybe that's the timing issue that they're waiting to come forward to until that's a bit more sorted out. Um, now, yes, we also have a, a true match here, true pair, the King and Queen of Pentacles. And then actually we have the Ace of Pentacles came out as well there. I told you lots of cards just keep spilling out. So um, they're, obviously wanting to come forward with like a, a, an offer, well, a giant offer, <laughs> actually. If you look at the size of that pentacle, the ace of pentacles. Um, so they're wanting to come rushing forward. Once they've kind of got themselves a bit more sorted and financially sorted as well. I, I've, you know, I've been channeling that for a long time and there's so much pentacle energy here. Um, this is what they want to offer you. You know, they, they want to be the king to your queen and come in and, you know, make amends with you and really kind of, I'm just getting like shower you with <sighs> treats and things, like spoil you. Maybe they've never done that before. Uh, that's what they're wanting. They're wanting to like treat you like a queen and, and really spoil you. Um, the Ace of Pentacles as well, this could also be, I'm picking up some kind of, um, unexpected windfall, you know, some, maybe you might be left some money or have a random kind of like lottery win or something, just a huge amount of kind of money coming forward all at once um so yeah but i just thought that's so nice you know the king and queen there and guys the last card to come out you're gonna die i don't think i've actually had this card in my reading since i've started doing it on youtube the four of wands oh my god union energy obviously it's the 11 11 card the twin flame so guys they are wanting this <laughs> connection with you so badly um it could be marriage if you're not into that it's some sort of higher form of commitment but this is you know depicted as kind of like a, a wedding union card uh, a little couple married underneath there and i i think i said in was it the last reading they are starting to realize what twin flames are and that you are a twin flame and they really could be just looking into this themselves they've, they've randomly kind of heard stuff about twin flames and it's like they're they're waking up waking up out of this kind of like nightmare it's like something like shaking them up like waking them up uh into reality but yeah oh my god um I don't really think we can end the, <laughs> the reading on a better card, to be honest. The Four of Wands, there's so much union energy in the air, I feel, as well. Um, but yeah. Nine of Cups, to the Four of Wands. Um, it's, it's literally just like I said earlier. Something just to do with divine timing right now. Um, it's not a kind of case of, oh, are they going to come forward or do they want to come forward? They, they do. It's a, it's just a case of like, when is it going to happen type thing? Um, yeah, the, 
the divine is really coming in here to give you justice for any kind of any kind of ways that they've mistreated you in the past and you know the DFs are not perfect either so any any kind of things that the DFs have done that you know weren't the best towards the DMs justice is coming in to heal this connection um yeah I think we're gonna we're gonna get some guidance from the angel oracle cards but I mean this is just such a positive reading I'm just picking up that I, I, I have been picking this up for a long time. The, the DMs are going through a lot of healing just now. Um, and it's just kind of, I know it's frustrating and everything, but it's to kind of get them into this king energy to match your queen. You know, you in the past, they might have come forward to you, but they, they weren't. They just weren't in that, like, energy, that mentality yet. They were still kind of in a bit of a, like, joker energy, you know? They, they just weren't... They weren't ready. So, you know, you, you want them to come forward when they're ready so they don't kind of leave again and things. Um, let's get a few Angel Oracle cards for the collective today. Romantic feelings. Yeah, I told you guys. They're really feeling very romantic towards you right now. Uh, and I just... I just pick up as well that... You know, I was saying earlier with the Page of Swords, which is kind of like the spying energy. They've been getting their romantic feelings like stirred by looking at your social media. Your photos and things like that is just really turning them on. <laughs> pick it up <laughs> um and a lot to do with with the knight of wands as well it's a very passionate energy and that was at the, the bottom of the deck for their overall energy so yeah just uh very passionate towards you right now and the last two cards that popped out were flirt and reconciliation oh my god um so yeah guys these unions are starting to come in you know um and obviously it's going to take a different amount of time for everyone but <clears throat> they're really wanting to to have these connections um mended is the word i'm picking up they're wanting to come they're, they're wanting to come back they're basically really worried they've screwed things up right now um but this is what they're ultimately wanting is reconciliation and you know a union with you they want union they're also wanting to flirt i told you there's a lot of like sexual passionate energy going on right now um so don't be surprised when they do come back in if it is quite a kind of flirty way that's just kind of like a, a little it's a little segue for them to come back in. Don't don't be put off thinking, oh, they're they're not being serious right now. They are serious about you. Or their four of wands would not have come up for a start. Um but it's, that might be the way that they kind of come back in starting a conversation or something like that. Um yeah, so we're gonna leave it there. Uh, I really hope that helped you guys. I'm just feeling like such positivity from the last few readings I've done. So, yeah, I just feel like things are starting to be mended, like I said, and starting to go better for these connections. So I really hope that helped you guys. 